All right, folks, this is part two of a two-part series on the ballistic calculator um, upgrade in the One Leaf NV400 scope. Um, the first video, which is just this video here, uh, it goes through all the, you know, basically how to set up that ballistic calculator. It's about 14 minutes long. This video here that you got watching now is just the range footage. It shows the results of how this ballistic calculator works. It's about nine minutes long. I do my best to avoid making 20 minute long videos. So um, again, this is part two. Okay, so there's two clips I wanna show you real quick uh, when I went to the range using this ballistic calculator. The first one is me zero in this rifle and scope in at 50 yards. And then with the same exact setting without, without changing anything, I then take it out to 100 yards. And you'll see that there's a green ballistic um, uh, coefficient marker that slides up and down this reticle based on the range. You know, again, it's got a range finder. So we turn the range finder on and says, okay, well, you're zeroed in at 50, now you're at 100. Okay, basically, we got to pitch this gun up, and that, that green indicator will come down on the reticle. Okay, and you put that green indicator on your target, it'll hit the target. So it's really, really a, a neat feature. Um, that I'm just, again, it just make, puts, the, in my opinion, puts the, the scope over the top. The first thing we're going to do is sight this rifle in and this scope in at 50 yards, and it will go from there. All right, I see the two sh sh shots are hitting high and uh, left. We'll go to uh, one shot zero and fix that. Okay, we should be pretty close to zero. Let's uh, take a few shots and find out. That's, that's five shots, four of them stacked on top of each other. Um, let's check the uh, range. Range is 53.6 yards, 53.6. Let's do one more five shot group and then we'll try the uh, ballistics calculator at 100. I'm not going to go after the bird. <laughs> Tempting. Okay, this thing's shooting groups like that at 50 yards. And I had to, <laughs> because the targets are so spread out from 50 to 100 to 200, I had to use a dustpan here for my, uh, my monopod. <laughs> so if I get off of 50, we can lose the dustpan. That's not bad though, 50 yard groups shooting out of a dustpan. All right, now we're going to turn on the range finder. So what it's telling me, again, when, without zero in the scope, I was zeroed in at 50, now I've gone out to 100 yards, and based on all the input, it's telling me I need to, to hit the target, I need to push this scope down to number four on this reticle. So that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to put number four on this reticle on the target down there. Okay. Not too bad at 100 yards. That's about five inches off. So it got me that close without even sighting in the rifle. Okay. So now that I'm that close, now I can do a holdover and I uh, should be able to do better, right? So I'm just gonna hold this, this reticle over about three clicks and I'm gonna drop it down two clicks. Bullseye.
Bingo. In the paint at 100 yards. Wow. And again, I don't have all the parameters dialed in like they should. If I had all the parameters, the electronics is smart enough in this rifle to know, based on all the parameters, exactly where to put this reticle to hit the bullseye. That is absolutely amazing. Let me try that again on uh, another target over here. And you can see I'm at 101.6 yards. Okay? Again, it's still telling me, nothing's changed, it's telling me that I need to go up to uh, number four on this scope. But I know that's a little off. So I'm gonna go up to number three. And again, I'm gonna hold over a little bit. A little bit for the wind. Wow. That's really good. <laughs> All right, I'm going to drop it down just a little bit. Horizontal, I've got right. In the paint. Guys, that, that's really impressive. And again, I've never used a ballistic calculator before, but um, it, this seems to function very well. And then the second group is I then zeroed it at 100. Zero the scope in at 100 and then came back to 50. Okay, and you'll see that green indicator now go past the midpoint. It says, okay, basically now you've got to lower the scope to hit the same target at 50 yards. And then I went back to 100. And again, it just, it automatically moves the point of impact, point of aim, based on the range and other parameters you put in the gun. All right, folks, I got to do a voice over here because I got other shooters next to me. I didn't want to interfere with their shooting here. So, again, I just zeroed the scope at 100 yards, okay, dead in, dead on at 100 yards. And then all I did was turn on the ballistic calculator. Didn't recite for 50 or anything like that. And, again, because of the ballistic calculator, now it's, it says, okay, well, now you're at 53.7 yards, okay, therefore you need to lower lower this, uh, this scope and gun to hit, you know, 53 versus 100. And, you know, through the electronics and ballistic calculator, it's telling me exactly where to aim the scope, which is really nice. Really, really nice. And again, it's, it's at 53. So if it was at 75, it'd do the same thing. It was a, If it's at 200, it would work. Now, again, I got a couple parameters wrong. I got the wrong ballistic coefficient for this pellet in there. And I've also got the wrong humidity. So those are two big factors that I've got in there wrong. So if, if, I, if I go back out there and... and and get those dialed in then it would be even tighter but again for this gun to be able to hit basically any target at any range uh using the ballistic calculator on this rifle is it's just awesome really 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 big fan of this All right, folks, appreciate you guys watching. Uh, please like and subscribe, and we'll be back. Thanks, folks.